Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Thank you for accepting our invitation from GMU Campus TV and for taking your time to make it to this interview. My pleasure and honor. We would like to ask you a few questions in this interview. Uh, you have been a part of GMU since its founding years. What has it been like watching GMU grow through the years? It was an amazing journey and I still remember the day I landed in UAE in 2002. Uh, and then there's been no looking back from there. So I just uh, had taken two years sabbatical leave from a previous institution and I thought I'll just work for two years and go back. And then fast forward, 2022, it's 20 years now and I'm still here. Wow, that's wow. great. Um, I feel much humbled and inspired to listen to that story and I'm sure our, our viewers would agree with me on this. Uh, so speaking of witnessing change, you've been in the UAE, of course, for so many years. Um, what are the changes that have been progressed from then to now and what do you miss about the old UAE? Well, changes have been amazing and mind-boggling when compared to when I came here. Uh, the, uh, in all sectors for that mm -hmm. matter, whether it is healthcare or whether it's education, whether it is tourism, or whether it's the whole infrastructure here. And the development has been sustainable and it has been improved the quality of life to a great extent. Uh, missing out on the old thing is life is more faster now yes. when compared to uh, previously. But definitely uh, it, has, it has improved the quality of life. Mm. So that's the difference between uh, what it was before and what and it is now. And how it has changed now. Yeah. So uh, since you're working in a university right now and you're managing a lot of students, as a college student, what challenges did you face and what did you have to overcome? I think I'm facing the same challenges what you face today. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, basically I had to uh, go out uh, away from my family and to a different state in India and study there. And uh, those days, uh, there was no mobile phones, digital uh, media or Zoom or anything to communicate with our families back home. Mm. Even telephone, it has to be booked and then you get it Calls, and things like that. Yes, so the communication was uh, not very great. We used to just write letters and wait for replies. But that was, that was also good, mm. sort of. Uh, th there was intense stress at that point of the time, but I had to cope up with the stress. Yes. The best way I coped up with the stress was to concentrate on studies. I did extremely well in the, in the college uh, and then I got a postgraduate seat and then, you know, on merit and I, and I continued that way. So uh, today when we see there is a greater connectivity and uh, greater uh, sort of, you know, facilities to communicate, but still I find the same sort of uh, situation here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. But nevertheless, I think uh, we should all cope up with uh, the situations and uh, resilience is one, is one of the best things to do. Yeah. Yes sir, definitely. Sure. It's comforting to know that one of our well-respected professors has been through the same challenges that we have been through, more mm -hmm. or like in the past. So I can understand your, uh, yeah, your situations, yes, yes, your plights. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, <laughs> Could you share with us um, someone who has motivated you throughout your journey? or someone who has been your greatest inspiration? There can be one and only one and that is our founder, president, uh, Dr. Tumbe Moedin. So, uh, we have, we, I remember having met him in 2002 in Bangalore mm -hmm. for my interview and after that there is no looking back. So, whatever I am today, I am obliged to him and uh, this reality is one man's vision and dream. Uh, it all started in, in 1998, the university started and in uh, 2002, he realized that uh, we need a clinical training sites for our own students. And uh, within no time, uh, Souk was actually converted into a world-class hospital and uh, uh, providing uh, affordable and quality health care to the community and quality training for the students. I joined there and we, we were the first one to join in the hospital and we started off the department of, I was in the department of surgery and uh, then there was no looking back. It was, it became one of the best private uh, uh, institutions catering to the immediate community. And after that, uh, then you see in the next two, uh, two decades, uh, there is a Tumbe Medicity yes. uh, with uh, university with six colleges and uh, international accreditations 
three hospitals within the city uh, in the Tumbe major city uh, dental physical therapy and uh, state of the art uh, hospital here food court uh, and the body and soul health club so uh, sky was the limit mm. so he continues to inspire everyone and he is my inspiration wow that is great to know yeah what has been your biggest challenge at gmu and how did you overcome it challenges is uh, uh, yeah it is it is almost daily every day is a challenge but i found that in my 20 years and 10 years as the dean and uh, 5 years as the vice chancellor the challenges we faced during the covid 19 yes. was yes. something uh, it's it that was challenging for us okay. to uh, to you know to make sure that we continue to provide quality teaching learning and all services to our students because uh, students were also it was, this was not unique to us yes but definitely the challenges uh, we overcame the whole thing and uh, we had a strategic plan of five years for our uh, um, uh, to upgrade our IT services and all that within three weeks uh, everything was put into place mm -hmm. because we were pushed to the corner to deliver uh, online um, you know education to the to the students and I hope we did well yes. and uh, our feedback was good for during that time. We did our best in the circumstance and uh, there's no looking back from there. Yes, sir. So, uh, of course, you're a very, very busy man and, you know, we usually go to the weekends to rewind a bit. So, what does a typical weekend look like for you? <laughs> well, uh, I'm a workaholic okay. and <laughs> most of the time I take home uh, some um, work uh, which my wife does not like. But definitely, I do spend a lot of time. I'm blessed to have a very good family and spend time with my family. I yes. spend uh, uh, as much as possible during the weekend with my families. Yes. Yeah. Um, what about your children? Um, are they following in your footsteps of becoming a doctor or, <laughs> or are they exploring any other fields? Yeah, well, I have two sons. Okay. Uh, so the first one has completed his uh, MBBS oh, great. and okay. he has followed my footsteps. Oh, wow. So the second son is going, has taken economics okay. and he will go into that field. So oh. maybe he's, uh, he, he will manage uh, mm. the, the finances. No, for the hospital finances. Yeah, maybe, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, so as the year is coming to an end and we are approaching the summer vacation, so what do you look forward to doing in the summer? What do you look forward to doing in the summer? Well, when everyone is having a break, we are the busiest. Yes. So, we have to make sure that when you return back, mm. uh, everything is in place. Mm. So, we are very busy during the summer and ensuring that everything is uh, ready for but you to come back hour. and the new academic year, there is no hitches when yes. we start the new academic year. Yes. So, we do take a break, yes, uh, we visit our parents at, uh, in, 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 in your hometown, but nevertheless, uh, the administration is pretty busy during the summer here ensuring that the, the classrooms, the teaching learning materials and other things are all ready uh, so that students have, uh, um, uh, you know, they have a good educational experience, learning experience yes. in the university. Okay. Um, so lastly, that brings us to the final question for this interview. Um, what is one message which you would like to give to the student body, to the students of GMU? Yeah, first of all, I'm very proud of my students. Right. Thank you. We want uh, we we get good quality students, and uh, I, what I want the message I want to give it to them is, they have to take full responsibility for themselves. Right. Uh, they come here, they they learn something, but what is more important is they should be good ambas ambassadors of Gulf Medical University. I always keep telling my students, well, you will you will only uh, if you don't complain, you're not students. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you're here, you will not uh, realize the value of whatever you are being provided. Our alumni, they are more appreciative of us mm -hmm. okay. because when they are pushed into the world, they realize how protected they were yes. in the university. In the so what I would like to tell all the students is um, uh, to be uh, confident, to be the good ambassadors of this one and make your, yourself, your parents and your teachers uh, proud. Yes. Yes, absolutely. This is the message. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Professor, for joining us. Our viewers will definitely be inspired by this entire talk today. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it sir. was an honor and pleasure to be talking to you. Thank you.